Hey, everybody. This is Wolfen Out, and welcome back to Clash Royale. Clash Royale. Yeah. All right, guys. Today, uh, the day I'm filming this, we had a nice good tournament. I do tournaments two or three times a week, guys. So make sure you subscribe. You'll be aware when we go live. Today was a subscriber viewer only tournament. We had a ton of fun. Um, gave away a few gift certificates, which I don't usually do, but we did it today. That was a lot of fun, guys. So you should subscribe and stay tuned for those opportunities. Anyway, today, earlier this week, um, a YouTuber called Ash put up a video of like, he thought three decks for trophy pushing, three good decks. And one of them was this mortar deck. And one of the things about the mortar deck is that it's got a lot of common cards, right? You got five of your cards are commons. And then two of them are rares, and it does have a legendary. It does have a log. You could put a zap in there, though. And then, boom, you're done. Zap, you got it. You don't got to worry about it. Um, now, if we go back to my history, I'm going to have a few more. Look, I beat a Royal Giant deck. I think that's the second Royal Giant deck I've beat with this deck, which is really cool. Now, this guy beat me because his first push... Um, I didn't have my defensive structure in hand. I didn't have I didn't have the cards I needed. I almost came back and won um, on that one. And then I think if we go through, you're, it's all going to be stuff from like the tournament and stuff. We're not going to be able to find any more from this. Oh, there's one. Uh, so there I am winning again, mixed in there, and then and then grand challenge stuff. So we don't have the other win. So I I, I want to show this one real quick. Just because, and he's a level 12, right? So let's let's watch this one real quick. Because I want to show you, we're both level 12, and this guy's uh, got a Royal Giant, which is usually, when you have a Royal Giant, it's very difficult. Mortar decks have a hard time. Uh, Mortar and Expo decks have a hard time against Royal Giant because they can put them so far away. The thing is, I'm not usually aggressive with the with it. I usually hold back. And I wait until I get, you know, I like to do it on the defense, right? So so he puts this down. I'm like, okay, I got my Infernal Tower. Of course he has a zap. Boom, done. The whole thing's done. Whatever, all right. So now I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Then he's got this. And I'm like, well, that's great. That's going to kill the, that's going to. And now look at the damage I have to eat on the right side. I put that down, but look, it was too late. By the time, it was too late anyway to put it on. So I took a lot. So now I'm putting it aggressive. I'm assuming, though, it's going to take out his... But for, it didn't. It actually, I thought it was going to target the um, furnace, but it didn't target the furnace. So I'm like, yes. Yeah. So now if you had a zap here, you'd do the same thing. Zap, skeleton army. We're good. So now this has the rocket. So if you can get enough damage, you could start rocketing for the wit. Now this, to me, isn't rocket ready. But we're getting there. Now, the damage on the left is not such a big deal. Luckily, his furnace is only level 9. Otherwise, I, re I would have lost this match. Or I would have had to play a lot differently. So this time, he's going to get aggressive, right? He's like, this is the whole part. This is the problem with the deck. Is that they can just do that and stop your whole push. Lucky for me, that weakened it a lot. Right? So I'm willing to take the damage on the left. He still wants the damage on the right. You can see that, right? So he puts it over there. He still puts it out of range. Watch this. Or no, this time it does focus on it because he put it higher. But, but he didn't have any elixir right now, so he's struggling. Right? And I'm just trying to get something on the freaking tower. I just need something. There we go. I put those fire spirits down to distract, and it worked. They did. Boom. But now we've both built up Elixir, so he's ready. He's coming in hot. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm in trouble. He zaps, resets everything. We're in trouble now. I'm going to take a crap ton of damage, and we're going to even it up. Now, he's going to play smart. Now, I'm thinking at this point, I might just need to be rocketing for the win now, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like, it's time to go defensive. I should have put that up a little farther, though. And I, it could have started to try to take that out, but check out his thing so I'm, like, I'm just like ah crap take everything out look at that though fire spirit so he zapped it but too bad i killed all that stuff and then that thing is taking out everything so i'm like well i need to go the, i need to get a rocket in there oh it is targeting it now and he just happens to put that furnace there such poor timing and i'm like well holy crap he just put that furnace he put that stuff down i'm going for it he's going for it he has a lightning i don't even know about and then it targets over on the right it screws up the, the push i would have 
Guaranteed win. He lightnings. Whew. But I won. Because it targeted all the way over there. That was a close one. But it was a good one. I could show the loss. Um, I almost come back. Again, it was my starting hand. But let's just go ahead and see if we can win. That was one win you got to see. Will I win again? This is a ladder match. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. But we're going to go for it. Up against level. That guy was a level 10, too, that beat me with that graveyard deck. Okay. So not the best. We'll just do this. And take that out. So they're only level 10. So... I have, this is probably a, a zap bait deck, which could be a problem. Ah, uh, dang it. Alright. Oh, I have a rocket, but see, now I can't... Uh, now, here's our problem, right? Because... Uh-oh! I might have just... Whew, I thought I screwed that up. I thought I screwed that up. And look at the left. I wasn't even paying attention to the left. That, um, well, I guess the rocket. And then the knight. Dude, that knight over there just freaking destroyed. I am the one that... So at this point, I really could just go defensive. There we go. So now we're good. Now it's a rocket away. But he has the pump. He has now. We do have the answer to. Okay. We, do, we have a few issues here. So I think I'm going to have to put down the knight here. I'll put that here. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed, dude. I thought I was going to miss that. I thought I was going to miss. Oh, I didn't put that in the right spot. We're not going to get any hits. But that's fine. Let him... Waste elixir. We're gonna do this. There we go. We're gonna do this. He's going to do that, but at this point, it is too late. That one archer there, and boom, guys. Boom, we got the win there. Nice. Nice. Had that Sparky. First thought my Spar when I saw Sparky, I was like, oh, crap, I'm screwed. Oh, wait, I have a rocket. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And look, level 12, level 12, level 12. Okay, and then he has the level 9, but that's equivalent to my my rares. His rares are equivalent to mine. His commons are pretty much equivalent to mine, except that um, I do have that one level 13. My knight could be level 13. I just don't have 100,000 gold, but that was a pretty fairly equivalent match. Okay, we are going to go for it again. I, I was a little worried about that, but Giant took a long time to beat that thing down. Let's try one more match. Win or lose, let's see what happens. Nether level 11? You never know, though. You just never know what's going to happen. Okay. It's a giant. Super defensive hand right now. Super defensive. So, um, I'm just going to do this. Oh, that's not going to... See, I think I'm going to take the... Ah, uh, oh, okay. Good. Now that's that's a lot of damage right there that we just took, but So we're going to do that. Now that Okay. 
Okay, so now we can't do anything now. Of course he's a royal giant, by the way, guys. I just want to say that, of course, it's a ro another royal giant. Now, will I beat this royal giant? I don't know. I don't know if I can beat this this one. Um, he's got different cards. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. I put that in the wrong spot. So, now... It's like, just let him take it out. I'm not even going to defend that because um, I can't. <laughs> like, like, I can't defend that one. Oh, I put it in the wrong spot again. Dang it, dude. Thank goodness. That's two times in a row, but the first time mattered. The first time was a was actually important. I'm gonna do that. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, did it? Did it target? Okay, so we're just gonna... I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay, so basically what's going to have to happen at this point... Is that I'm going to have to... Oh, it's too late. Too late. I should have been rocketing way earlier. Yeah. And then I shouldn't have kept putting in that spot, because he kept putting his royal giant there. But I... So... He held us off. He held us off. And now I want to play one more. That one, we held him. He, he didn't even get close to winning. But I screwed up a couple times. We could have won, but because of my stupid placement, my bad placement, not even having it target the, the thing, that screwed us up. Completely screwed us up. So let's try it again. Of I wouldn't be surprised if it's another Royal Giant deck, by the way. Just saying. Like, Royal Giant decks are rampant right now. I am just going to take that. Because... Royal Giant? Nope. And we're going to do this. There we go. Okay. Ah! Let's go. <laughs> that one. That one. Okay, we're gonna do this. So what is he? Is that bait deck then? Is what he is? But I think he's already done almost as much damage as we have, like. Alright, we're gonna do this. So now we're in trouble. Go. Okay. I did that because I didn't want that damage. See now in this in this version. The problem is is we don't
So I, at this point, I feel like I just need to start rocketing. Oh, see, now he's going to start fireballing. But he's going to take that tower, too, and then... It's way worse now for us. Like, at this point, it's way worse for us. Okay, there we go, but we are winning. We are winning. How much does it do? 594. Oh, yes, guys. And boom. We just beat a zap bait deck with a mortar deck, guys. Bam. Guys, come on. Like, our, our Infernal Tower was kind of worthless in that hand. Like, we couldn't even play that one card. But we managed with the fight with all that stuff. And he eventually took that tower. But, but then we went from having his left tower was practically full. And then, boom, we took him down. Nicely played, my friend. Nicely played. So that was two wins and a draw. And, of course, I replayed that win. But there was this loss here that I almost came back and won. But we didn't quite win it. But so there you go, guys. That's the deck, man. Mortar. And again, the reason this was talked about why it's good is because of the, the fact that there's five commons. So you can already see one commons maxed out for me. One could be maxed out. And the other three are not too far away when you request commons. You can, I can request basically 120 commons a day. So give me, you know, in, a, in like... Give me three weeks, and I'll have my next one of these cards will be maxed. And then another three weeks, and the next one will be maxed. And that's if I'm not winning, getting anything else out of chess. But um, the hard one will obviously be getting that rocket and infernal tower up. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and beware of all the tournaments I'm doing. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you're still liking this. And like always, we'll see you next time. Bye.